It all began on a Monday, the day everybody hates. Mondays are meant to be boring and dreary, but this one would go down in history. This was the Monday that Aaron and Austin made a bet. No one took them seriously at first. Some people were weirded out, of course, but no one in our circle of friends questioned the odd behavior or accustomed to that. The chaos ensued right after fifth period. Friend turned on friend, enemy against enemy. The terror was almost too much for the administrators to believe. But first, let's get a background story. So apparently, Aaron instigated a fight with Austin on a day that happened to fall on the night of a full moon, which probably wasn't the best idea. Oh yeah, Austin's a werewolf, just so you know, and Aaron's a vampire. But thankfully, she doesn't sparkle like the ones in the paranormal romance section at Barnes & Noble. So anyway, they both ended up making a bet to see which one of them could create the largest army of their species at the school. That's pretty much how the nomming started. Now the school was separated by human, werewolf, and vampire. At first, the administrators thought it was a school-wide prank, but that was before the students were exchanging blood-filled bags at lunch and howling in the hallways that afternoon. Austin assured the teachers and staff that they wouldn't be harmed. Only the students shall be the victims. So now there's the question of who all we've lost during this epidemic. Austin had Ben, Ross, Casey. Most of the drama kids. And almost Drew, but Aaron beat him to it. Aaron got Annalie, Amanda, Jacob, and not to mention like half the freshmen. They were easy targets. Which was the only comment we received from Aaron. A small resistance was formed of the remaining humans, led by Sam, who was determined to find a cure. I will find the cure. <laughs> and I know the resistance sort of sounds like a cool name, and it would seem like we'd be taking down werewolves and vampires with massive flamethrowers or silver bullets, but in reality, all we did was watch each other's backs in between classes. Andrew had been caught in an ambush of frantic freshmen. He was howling at a circular shaped lamp when we found him. Michelle was last seen outside Miss Rose's trailer. We assume the worst. No one had seen Aaron or Austin since Monday. They were believed to be lurking in the shadows, taking down the rest of the humans on their own. I just lost the game! Oh. The resistance was dwindling along with the human population. Amy, Noah, and I were all that were left standing. Found the cure. I found the cure. It's the cure. Ah! That's when reality hit me. I was the only human left. Wait a minute. Haven't either of you won the bet already? You're the tiebreaker. Why did I have to get Noah? Because Amy tastes better! of the day, Amy and I began to cure the students. Within a few hours, everyone was back to normal. Since 
then, there's been no more howling or blood drinking in the school establishment. No one has fangs or fleas, and no student has been bitten since. Your 